guys, Lexi here, and well, my frame is not even. Hey guys, Lexi here, and well, I kinda wanna give you guys an update of what we were doing now. Since the season has ended, you've seen some of the day in the life of's, but I kinda just wanted to make it a little bit more clear if you guys are wondering like just what we've been kinda up to, what we're doing. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> well, anyways, since the season has ended, we have moved to LA temporarily till we figure out what our next steps are. The reason we picked LA was because Hunter's working with a batting coach here in the Valley, which works out perfectly because it's about 10 minutes away from my parents' house. Super close, so that worked out perfectly. And then he goes and works out with an old teammate, Marlon Bird, which he used to play for the San Francisco Giants. And it's a perfect kind of scenario where my parents kind of live in the middle between both Marlon and Doug, batting coach, and so it works out really, really perfectly in terms of driving and stuff like that. Also, it just makes economical sense to move back in with my parents so we don't get stuck in the lease because we can only be here for like two months till we head to Winter Ball in the Dominican. So that's kind of like what we're doing. It's been really awesome moving back in with my parents. I thought it was gonna be like a huge adjustment, like living on my own independently, and then moving back in with my parents. I think the only thing is that my dad asks a million questions. And he asks the same question, just in different ways. So he'll be like, you're going to the gym? Yes, dad, I'm going to the gym. You're planning to go to the gym? Yes, dad, I'm planning to go to the gym. Lex, you're going to the gym today at 11. Yes, dad. Like, it's just like so, like the same thing, just in different ways. But I know he means well, and actually, like my parents have been just absolutely amazing, and I have loved living and being back home. Um, they've changed the house a lot since I moved out. For instance, it's not like I'm moving back into my old room, like now there's like a boat paint thing here, so. <laughs> But yeah, they've made some upgrades and changes and all that stuff, but it's been nice to move back home. It's been like a huge relief for me just because it's just really helpful to have like a team to kind of help you. Yeah, I had Pina Pal Mal in San Francisco, but like I have both my parents here and actually next week Pina Pal Mal comes, so I'm gonna be like totally coasting next week. It's gonna be awesome. But like having my mom help me cook for Hunter, having her help me with the laundry, and of course having my dad there to help as well has just been so incredibly amazing. It's like for the first time in a long time I felt like I can catch a breath and like concentrate on other things like let's get Lexi and I'm not just like rushing around. So that's been super helpful. And also just to give myself a small little break. You know, this is the off season so I'm kind of just trying to like pace it out and take my time and just like enjoy it a little bit, you know? Especially, I'm taking this and looking at it as an opportunity to spend this time with my parents and really cherish the time that we are getting together because leaving San Francisco, you just like realize everything doesn't last forever and that was just a, a good reminder that it doesn't because things can change and they change fast and sometimes they change and you don't even realize it or you don't want it to change but it does change so I'm just trying to like really really embrace this time with my parents and getting this opportunity to have moved back in with them and spending time with them and realizing how much I really do love them and not that I didn't love them before but like I don't know it's just nice to know that like I actually do enjoy spending time with my parents and when you're away from them sometimes you forget that like laughing with them or like my dad cracks me up with his little jokes here and there and my mom too like you just forget about those little moments like that and I'm glad that I'm getting this opportunity to experience that and I'm glad Hunter is too and he's like really loving it. So he like loves getting totally spoiled by my mom. His laundry is always freshly done and she packs some little snacks for workouts and it's really cute. It's been awesome and I just know this is just like we're in like a really weird phase right now but it's not, you know, it's temporary and like I said, I'm really loving enjoying being home. If I could just bring my full closet here, I think I'd be way happier. Cause at times I'm like, oh, I didn't pack that, or oh, I wish I had my drone, or oh, you know? But I also don't wanna like overwhelm my parents or overstay my welcome. <laughs> Just kidding, I think my parents love having us here. So that's kind of what we've been up to. So Hunter's been hitting the ground hard. He's been working so hard since the season like ended. There's so much more baseball left in him and the tank is full and he's just ready to go and he's actually really inspiring because he is just 
just go after it, you know? So that's been really, really awesome. So now I'm just getting moments to like really concentrate on Let's Get Lexi. I've been putting new content up on the website, letsgetlexi.com. I get more time to like really plan out my socials and it's just nice to like feel like I have a, a moment to catch my breath. And now I get to concentrate on like other things and just like, I don't feel like I'm like running as fast. So it's nice to just get that break and relax and kind of just like concentrate on myself and go to the doctors and make sure everything's okay. I'm doing that while I'm here too. So that's really good. And just kind of like enjoying some more free time, which has been so nice, you guys. You have no idea. We're just go, go, go all the time during the season. And it's just nice to slow down a bit. And also, I guess being in the suburbs, you're kind of like, Oh yeah, it's like sleepy town over here, you know? And it's just like a little bit slower, and it's nice. I'm just trying to really savor these moments because I know once, you know, we're going to the Dominican in December and we're going, and then who knows from there? So like, our life is gonna change rapidly in about a month or so. So just trying to enjoy these moments and really relax into them. I have no idea what's next. And it's just a crazy, crazy feeling. I'm happy, I'm rested, I'm hydrated and I feel balanced. That's kind of what we've been up to. So I hope you guys stick along as we figure out what's next for us. And I hope you guys enjoy this journey with us. I can show you that like not knowing, that I, I'm actually practicing what I preach and that not knowing is okay. And I'm just really learning how to trust in the process. Like I do think it's all gonna work out in the end, whatever that is for us. It's just gonna work out. I'm just, I don't know. I guess I've just like let it go for a long, like like I said, I'm a type A, I love to plan, but I'm just letting a lot of it go and seeing what's next. And so far it's been awesome. What's really been awesome is I get to see all my childhood friends. It's great, because then you go to the mall, you run into people you know, and it's really great. It's great to just like find that connection again with like your friends, especially my childhood friends. Like, I just love them, they're so funny. They just crack me up and you know, it's great to just see us back together and spending time and I don't know, it's just been awesome. That's all, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm enjoying our time here at home and I hope I can keep you guys entertained with the crazy stuff that my dad does, my mom does, Hunter's doing, and yeah, that's it really. And we're here in the suburbs playing lotto and having fun and we wanna take you guys along with us. All right guys, I'll see you guys next time, bye. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below where home is for you. I'd love to see if anyone lives in the valley next to me. Maybe we can meet up for a coffee or something. Um, but let me know where home is for you and what you love about it. And guess what? If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what to tell you. You're really missing out. So go ahead and subscribe so you're notified every time I post a video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!